Hey. Works? Hey. Yeah, I hear you. Hello? Yo, should we turn that off? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We're back. We're back, baby. Episode four? Four, three, four, three. I think it's four. We filmed four. Did we? But we didn't post. No, we have three out on Spotify. We have three on Spotify. This will be four. Oh, this is the fourth. Yeah. Oh, this is the fourth. There we go. Let's get... Oh, no! Anyway, welcome to the Steve Driscoll Show, everybody, with, uh, as usual, Pilkey is back. Welcome back, guys. Pilkey's just going to keep coming back, guys. If you haven't gotten with the program yet, that is the regular show. I'm here to stay. He's here to stay. And I love it. Just get ready for it, everybody. How you, Pilkey, how you doing? Good, man. I feel like the weather is finally turned a corner, and it's officially nice out. I think it's supposed to be raining and cold and uh, rainy and coldy tomorrow. No, Isn't I don't. It? I don't believe it. I saw like fifty three with rain, which is basically like forty six. I mean, there's going to be a few days, but so today is Thursday, first day of the Masters. I feel like to me, that is like the start of nice weather. Like when the Masters starts from then on out, it's like usually pretty nice. It definitely is. I've once said that it was March Madness, but March is basically winter's cousin because it's still basically cold and it's not, it's not a great, it's not the spring yet. I love how people like define seasons based off of literally like an event, like Memorial Day or something or and not the actual date the season starts and begins. Yeah, like I never think of, oh, June 21st is when summer starts. Yeah, because you that's like halfway through summer. It's Memorial Day. Yeah. It's, it's whenever, like, we're from New Jersey, uh, if you're, when, when everyone's going down the beach. or Exactly. It's yeah. So Memorial Day, exactly. Is, do you think that's the same in, like, let's say Kansas? Do you think they kick off summer and they're, they kick it off on the same day? I feel like Memorial Day is such a big holiday, probably. Because they, they just do cookouts and stuff. I don't know. What I don't know what. Do. Hey, if you're from Kansas and you're listening, let what, us know you do a Memorial what Day the hell weekend. Do you guys do. I assume they celebrate the same way we do. Get drunk. They just don't. They don't have a beach. Yeah, in Kansas, is there? They they must have lakes. lakes man made yeah. big man made lakes. Yeah, man made lakes. Just doesn't seem as fun. No, but like uh, Lake Michigan, I saw videos. You could like, there's waves. You can surf. It looks like an ocean. It does. I've never seen Lake Michigan in person, but. Everybody who I've talked to who has been there, they're like, it's no different than an ocean. It's just a massive body of water. And it's crazy how that's a lake. And then there's also these small lakes. Like I had a lake in my town where we were. <laughs> it's crazy how yeah. that's considered the same thing. There's no tiny oceans. A what, sea? What is the sea? The, the Caribbean Sea is near that, the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, it, so it connects to the ocean. Should I look up what's the difference between a sea yes. and a we should know this too, by the way. You should know this. Why me? Because you know the different stuff. I know the typical <laughs> shitty yeah, I stuff. I don't know the different. All right. So I'm, my guess is that a sea has to be salt water, and I think it has to connect to the ocean. Okay. In terms of geography, seas are smaller than oceans. Yeah, no shit. And are usually located where the land and ocean meet. There's too many terms for different types of water. What about a what what's a sound? What, a brook? A gulf? What's a brook? A brook is like a small river. <laughs> what's a, a gorge? Uh, I don't know what a gorge is. Do you think those is a gorge even a body of water? <laughs> yeah, a gorge is a deep channel filled by a river. Come on, you should have known that. So when you're at the Jersey Shore, that's the ocean. That that's is the, the ocean. Atlantic that's Ocean. That's the Atlantic Ocean. But if you're on parts of Long Island, if you're on like the northern shore. That is Long Island Sound. The sound. Sounds sound nicer. It sounds like... It sounds calm. What is this? What's the difference between a sound and the ocean? It is I the Atlantic Ocean. Just, the I Long think, Island Sound is the Atlantic Ocean. It's the same water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you told me this. We were driving through the, the tunnel from New York City to Hoboken. Yeah. And I think we got on the topic of how were tunnels built. And I always assume this, and maybe you assume this as well, or maybe I'm I'm dumb, that they built the tunnel through the water. And I, I wasn't quite sure how they did it, but you explained to me that 
they find where the water hits the ground, the bedrock. Yeah. And exactly. they dig under that. So there's there's rock above the tunnel and yeah, then there's water I above. I mean, no, that. I used to think the same thing when I was younger and I used to be like, well, what if there's like a leak? Are we all going to die? Exactly. But it's like, no, the uh, Hudson River is, I don't know, maybe 20 feet deep and the tunnel's 30 feet underground. Yeah, So exactly. it's just built under the bedrock. What do you think came first? So connecting, like, Manhattan's obviously an island. What was the first bridge or tunnel that connected to it? You think it was a bridge or a tunnel? I think this is how we got on the topic. I, I would have assumed that a bridge connected first. Yes. But it was a tunnel happened before the bridge. Yeah, I think, so... The Holland Tunnel, because New York used to be called, I think, New Holland, because it was from Dutchland. Deep, yeah, Dutchland settled there. So I think that was the first bridge or tunnel that connected them, which I think it makes sense. It's easier to to build a a tunnel than a bridge. I think that's like saying it's it's that like a submarine came before a boat. <laughs> like, but, I'm not saying the bridge or the the tunnel came before the bridge. I'm saying just. In, out of like the big bridges that connect New York to like mainland and tunnels, I think the tunnels were before the big suspension bridge. Which which is I be, I believe it. Yeah. But it's crazy to me. Or like I wouldn't have expected that to be the case. Here's another thing I think I, I've always kind of thought about. Imagine being the first human to ever hear a parrot talk. Like what would you think? <laughs> what do you think it would say? Whatever you always say. Well, I guess you'd be the first human to see a parrot. No, because they, they probably weren't talking immediately. Like saying an English word. How could a parrot say an English word or whatever or a, whatever language they someone had without ever seeing humans first? It had to be around humans a lot. But I don't think they like they know how to speak a language they can just mimic. Yeah, no, but like what so what if you heard the first time someone heard it say a a word in their language. You think they freaked out? They yeah. Didn't? Wouldn't you imagine you had, you were like someone, I, it was obviously back in the day. Okay. You're, you're, you're a blacksmith back in the day, making a sword. And then you have a parrot flies in and he's just like, hey, okay, <laughs> like say your name. Or he's saying like, like English words. What are you going to think? If you've never heard a parrot talk, I have no fucking idea. I, 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 I would be, I would be, I'd be amazed or I don't think I would think I was crazy. Definitely not. Like, imagine if a dog At first, you might. Imagine, like, an animal like a dog. You've never seen this animal before. Fucking strolls up to you, and it's just, like, able to say an English word. But it had to be around people to learn those words. That's what I'm saying. So, but eventually, there had to be a time when the parrot spoke for the first time ever. (laughs) There had to be. I wonder where parrots came from. Like, did they speak French originally? And then... Someone brought one to America and it was speaking English and then it like learned some English words. I have no That's idea. That's a great question. What was, yeah. Because I imagine it's not like they can only do English, mimic English words. Why do they mimic words? Is it like a defense mechanism? Like to ward off prey in the wild? Or is it like. I think so. I bet it is. So they can mimic like. They're mockingbirds. I'm not sure if a parrot is technically a mockingbird. Yeah. But I never thought about like mockingbirds like that though. Maybe they so they can make the sound of a like a tiger or something or a bigger bird. Yeah, or, yeah, or whatever they want. Wow, those That's are good crazy. questions. See, on the Steve Driscoll show, we pose good questions. Should we look it up when the first parrot was known to exist? The earliest reference to a talking bird comes from Satius in the fifth century BC. The bird, which he called Bidicus, may have been a plum-headed parakeet. So this was back back in the day. Yeah, a long time ago. I saw, I, mean, I heard this stat years ago, and I don't know the full information, but it said the most successful animal in history is dogs. But this th- this was coming from the fact that they have become domesticated by humans. What does that mean? Successful? They, uh, they've had they basically they have us take care of them. They're the only. They're really like the only species that does that. Because they're that, they can't take care of themselves. But they used to be able to. Wolves can. I guess. Also, this was just whoever wrote the article's Do you opinion. think a poodle is going to go out there and hunt? I guess poodle are, are they sporting dogs? I don't know. I don't think poodles existed before dogs were domesticated. Like, they've been domesticating I mean, dogs sense. since a lot of the cavemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how does that happen? How does a dog go from, like, a, a wolf to a Maltese? Like, a, the little white ones. 
And those are purebreds too. Yeah. How, how, how many years does that take? What it's got to be a mix of something. Like, I, but what was like, so what? There's probably like they mixed two runs of a litter to get like to a smaller dog and then two runs of that litter or of like that type of dog. Runs meaning the small yeah, of the yeah. breed. I don't it, know because I was, I was actually talking to my cousin. She just got a mini Australian Shepherd and she was like, yeah, it's a, it's a purebred. And I was like, how do they have a mini purebred? And she was like, oh, they probably just breed all the runs together. It's a purebred of a hybrid. Like there's, you know, at the end of the day, there's no real such thing as a purebred. It's just purely that new thing because. Yeah, but it's been around for so long. That yeah. We can say, like I bet you eventually, like, so golden doodles. They're breed not with, no, they breed with other golden doodles. Now they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. they don't always. No, 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 no. But, but apparently I bet there's you, a difference. You can tell. Well, there's like different generations. There's like F1Bs. Which I think F one Bs, F one B golden doodles. And I think I it's know like what the, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Oh yeah, we got the F one B. But I think that's a golden doodle that has bred a uh, uh, golden retriever and poodle. That's how I would want mine. If I so got that's one. like first gen. You got your first yeah, gen golden doodle. So that's a good and one. And then you can breed those two F one Bs, and you get something else that's then you get the only reason i know that is because i follow this golden dude on instagram and in his bio he has f1b so he's he, he's a he's he's in it for the money he knows what he's doing yeah f1b do do they do they refer to cards as if a pokemon card is the first edition is it an f1 do they is that a common terminology i, I don't think so interesting yeah i think it has to do with like that um uh, I forget what it's called. I feel like I learned about it in like seventh grade science. Gettysburg we like, Address? <laughs> no kidding. When we were learning about like breeding things and like recessive genes and dominant. Oh, like red hair and blue and eyes. you do like the Punnett Square? I, I For some reason, I think like F1B relates to that. F1 is the, the first person of that gene line, I guess. That I have no idea. I'd totally be guessing if I said it. Genes are fucking crazy. You yeah. like, like that is interesting. You're, the person you marry, you're literally creating a, a baby that's going to look like a mix of you. It's so crazy. How that's how it works. Like, oh, it's a mix of you. It's both of you. Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. And it could get all the bad genes. Yeah. Or all the good ones. Just a gamble. Yeah. Or some I think of the that's, good. Yeah. I think oh, that's going to like go away. What? Oh, I with, think people are going to be able to pick. Like, I want it this hair color, yeah. this eye color. You already can. You already can. That's gonna that's gonna fuck the world up. I'm Crispin. glad I'm not gonna be around for all of that. You're gonna. You're. It's around. Not fully. Most Maybe, people are doing it the old fashioned way. I bet. Oh, okay. You don't think your kids are going to do it that way? The old fashioned. Your way? kids will probably be having kids in like 35 years. Maybe I don't know. I hope they're not picking and choosing. Why? What do you mean? Why? Well, yeah, I mean, I because I, I think that is going to create like it's going to be bad. You it's can only choose your genders. Things. I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to either. I'm not messing with nature. Yeah, I agree with that. I it's agree like with what that. It, what is meant to be is what is meant to be, and live with it. Like, well, what if you? What if they're like your kid? Uh, right now, your kid has this sickness. That I think is very different. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, I would, uh, I would help to, I would fix that. But if you say only they had something wanted, they, they wouldn't be able to walk or something. I yeah, would, I would definitely help that. And I think it can help with that. And like, definitely, um, there's like certain illnesses that like are just like in your blood and your lineage. Like, yeah, like Parkinson's. Yeah. Or something so like that. So if they can remove those, I think it's good. Still, is a little fucked up. You think? Not in the fact that they're trying to like make someone who won't have those, but if they're messing with that, like it's not like they can just go grab that and take it out unless they can. I mean, I don't know enough about it, but I'm sure they have to do some other shit. I've seen on like 60 minutes, you know, they'll show a diagram and it's like, here, here it is. And then you'll see something go and take something out. But I'm sure it's way more difficult than that. It's, if well, you it's edit like, why your don't, DNA, yeah, why don't we do that for everything then? I, I, just, I agree. I, I wouldn't, I, I'm not going to mess with that stuff. 
what if you're picking the gender and you want a boy and then they somehow <clears throat> pulled out the wrong gene and you get a girl? Oh, free baby. Are you going to be disappointed? No, I'm going to sue them and I'll be happy with my girl. I'll be a girl dad. Would you tell your daughter? I mean, I tried to make you a boy. <laughs> I, well, I think uh, I, my mom once said like we were hoping for a girl with me because they already had three boys yeah. before me. But, you know, I never took that as an offense. Yeah. They weren't like, I wish you were a girl. But it's no. not like you don't understand, Stephen. We paid a lot of money to make sure you were a girl. And then we sued them. I mean, you'd have to get your money back if they got that wrong. I think that's the least of your worries. I, I, I actually do not have a preference for the sex of my baby. I almost, I almost want a girl. What about the second one? The second kid? Yeah. Like, if you had a girl, would you then want a boy? Yeah, of course. So? I want both. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. If I could only have one. I'm not going to only have one. I, 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 no, only I'm not child. dissing only childs. There's nothing an only child has ever done wrong to me that I can think of. I'm kidding. I have no idea. But, uh, <laughs> Chaz Gambino. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a good guy. Um, but I, for, the, for the kids' sake, I feel like it could be better. I don't Definitely. know. I, I grew up with four siblings, so I, I really like... I enjoyed that. Yeah. And you learn from each other. A hundred percent. No, I think it's good to have siblings, but you know, I've never been on the other side of it. Yeah. And you have an older sister. So you're, yeah. so you're kind of that scenario. Like I was, because I had three older brothers, I was the kid who would go in the class and teach everybody all the curse words. Like I was, I knew all that stuff. Yeah. Cause they were all teaching you. Like they would just say it. And then <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm going to say that. Actually, the first time I ever went to school and said curse words it was because my mom. We were driving there and she goes, you fucking asshole to like someone in the car. <laughs> and I, dude, I immediately walked around saying it. You just dropped immediately. That. Why is that? Like, like, I'm, cause it's if, something you've never heard before. Like if my mom said like asparagus munchkins, I would, I walked into school saying that if you've never heard those two words before, probably. Would you think like my baby self? Cause I was young. Just recognize like, wow, that was a moment. Like she was passionate when saying those words, she was angry. So that's why it stuck with me. Well, yeah, maybe because of course she was just like, oh, fucking asshole. I probably wouldn't have picked yeah. up on it. We were talking about this once before. If we could go back in time to like when we were in middle school, I, I what I said was uh, I wouldn't even like hang out with my friends. <laughs> you would just be grinding. I, I, I'll be grinding the entire time. I'll be just trying to get rich the entire time. I'd be working on my skills. I'd be like, <laughs> I honestly think I would just sit in a chair and dribble basketballs. I'd be like, I know how important ball handling is. I, I never really cared about that before. So... I mean, do we, so we know everything we know now already? Yeah, you're you, but like you, you go back in time into your, your young self. Let's say fourth grade. I'm but not you, hanging out with my friends after school. I'd go to baseball not? practice and dominate. Why, why not? Because I'm not interested in the same things little kids are interested in. I would go home. And oh, I, I guess that's a good point. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want to just like play probably a shitty uh, video game system because I'm so used to having Xbox and PlayStation 5. I mean, I still play shitty video game systems. Nintendo? Yeah. With fourth graders? I haven't played with fourth Frequently? Grader. Like, <laughs> no. I would maybe want to do that for 10 minutes max. <clears throat> but then you would have no friends. No, I'd be like, Mom, trust me, I'm building towards my future the whole time. And what would you specifically work on? I would tell my dad, Amazon, just to throw it all in there. So, will that... No, that, no, no. Oh. Like, let's say... Oh, I'd, I would run up a hill every day and become a, I'd, be, I'd become a beast. You think that would make you that I'd much better? I would practice sports, yeah. Even if I didn't go pro, I'd rather just then have the experience of living my life as a my athletic self to my full potential. But what if it, What happens if it still never panned out? I see I, my I'm still rich. Is, I'm still rich. I got <clears throat> all that shit going on. But what are you doing to make money? Like I'm saying I, you can't be like, Oh, Amazon is going to skyrocket or I'm going to buy Bitcoin. Like yeah. you don't, you can't do any of that stuff. Why not? That's part of the game. Cause that's just going back in time in general. I'm saying like, okay. just if you were like your brain put into like a fourth grader's body, but I can't invest <clears throat> money. You can invest. So you could like try to trade, but you have no idea where the market's going to go. Oh, okay. So that's deleted from my brain. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I still do the same thing. You would just dribble basketball. Uh, I would. I would. I would. Uh, like, would you pay attention in school? In um, fourth grade, fifth grade, probably not. I don't think I would. Not too much. I, I would. Uh, 
I, I would still need to pass the classes. I, I still need to know some of the information. Like I don't know everything about like the Louisiana Purchase, although I could probably guess all the stuff. You would probably be so smart where like you could, you would definitely pass cl- your class, but you like, you could be so smart where you'd be like, I'm a little kid. Like I could sell these parents anything and they'll buy it because I'm a little kid. Yeah. And just start selling shit or something like that. That's true. I mean, you could take advantage of being a little kid so easily. Easily. Yeah. Talents. Like you like little kid the <clears throat> like a talent show if a kid just is able to like do something like oh did it correctly it's like oh shit that was good <laughs> holy shit they didn't fuck up they they spoke loudly you walk on stage just confidently like hey all right parents like <laughs> what's up everybody like, who is this motherfucker <laughs> there'd be a lot of ways you could make money Imagine you just stand up like vulgar stand up comedy as a fourth grader. They, people wouldn't be, but they wouldn't believe it. And it'd be so easy to be confident doing it because you're just a little kid. Yeah. It's just like, I'm just a fourth grader. Yeah. Did middle school grades literally don't matter? They don't at all. I guess if you're trying to go to private school, they kind of do. But I once got a D in eighth grade, which is crazy. They don't. That's crazy. It doesn't matter because middle school only mattered, at least for me, it was like what classes you got into. In high school. <clears throat> so it was like what track you're on already. Yeah. But it was like there was only like two options. It was like you go like straight into honors or you're just like in normal classes, CP. And then after that, you get into high school, your GPA only matters to get into college. And once you're in college, your grades only matter so you can put on your resume for a job. They only matter for certain things. Yeah. No one has ever asked my GPA. What's the point? That's what I'm saying. I do you think college degrees are going to matter nearly as much in 20 years. Yeah, I think they'll matter more. You think they'll matter more? Yep. Why? I feel like the narrative is shifting the opposite way. <clears throat> because I think what's going to happen is so like, say 20 years ago, you could have like a very successful career without having a college degree. Now you still can. Don't get me wrong, but you need that college degree to like get that first step. Like. No bank is going to hire someone without a college degree. But 20 years ago, they used to do it all the time. It was like pretty common. So now it's like you almost need your MBA for everything or you need like a graduate's degree. People want more education on your resume. So people are going to go to school for longer. I, 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 I think that's I think we're at that point right now. But I don't you think that general- I think it's going to become more common. Like I think our kids are. 100% going to go to grad school. You think? Yeah. What if, what if they just don't go to they're college? They're going to say like, oh, like when my dad was my age, like grad school wasn't as important. Like you could still get a job without grad school. I, I agree that like if you looked at like a chart, we're definitely, the chart yeah. would say we're trending there. But don't you think the narrative is kind of about leveling the playing field right now and about how college is way too expensive and how it well, should that's be the free? Thing. They're going to make... Free, say they make free education or very reasonably priced education, it's going to be a, open to everybody. And then grad school is going so to be what everybody's going to take advantage of it. Yeah. And yeah. then getting your grad school degree is going to be the new college. I do 100%. agree with that. I do agree with that. It's a never ending cycle. I mean, I do think like those years in college, that age range, how you mature and change was like huge. Oh, and I didn't God. realize yeah. it when I went to college. No. Yeah. Because you think you're an adult. But looking back, I was like, I was an absolute idiot. And you, yeah, you had college. I'm sure this is the same for a lot of people. You learn a lot by now I'm dealing with a lot more people. Yeah. And yeah. the whole, you know, social sphere. Building friendships because yeah. you're with a bunch of new people. Yeah. Like keeping relationships, balancing workload yeah. and like having time to yourself. Yeah. Like it, it, the entire thing is learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really easy to fall into some traps in college. 100%. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk to you again. I know you saw the article about Shaquille O'Neal buying the wedding ring. Oh, yeah. Guy. I saw it on Sports Illustrated. Do you think now that guy's proposal is ruined? Oh, that's a really good point. Like, do you think his fiance saw that and was like, Shaquille O'Neal, buy you a wedding ring? Yeah. So let's explain to them. So this guy was in a... A jewelry store and Shaquille O'Neal was there. Yeah. And Shaquille O'Neal overheard the guy f- trying to finance his ring because he couldn't pay for it all at that time. Yeah. So I don't know if he was like trying to finance the ring like he hadn't purchased it yet 
where he had the ring financed and then was like trying to figure out how much he owed on it left. Yeah. I'm not sure which one. Gotcha. Which the latter would make more sense that it's in the news everywhere because then his fiance likely already has it. Yeah. Well, anyway, Shaquille O'Neal paid for this guy's ring and it went viral. Yeah. So Pilkey's wondering, does that does the woman that was getting proposed to now know? I that, wonder. I I don't know. Did the guy's name come out? There's a picture of him and Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my god! And it was literally everywhere. Would, so people are gonna see. And say you're, so say I was the the girl who like this guy bought a ring for, and you're my friend, and you see it, and you're like, holy crap, that's Pilkey's like girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever with Shaquille O'Neal. Would you tell me? Like, what if I was just oblivious to it? If you were the one getting proposed to? Yeah. Would you ruin it? Or would you, but like, would you maybe assume I know already? Well, first of all, if you got engaged, I, I don't think if I found out, I would reach out. I, I'd be like, all right, he's going to tell us. I would yeah. wait. And if you didn't tell me right away, I'd be like, oh shit, maybe he doesn't know. I'm just wondering if you're this girl's friend, like, what if one of them saw it? Like, she must know that this thing happened. That's the thing, because also, like, even if I saw, like, a picture of you with Shaquille O'Neal, he wasn't even, you know, just anyway, I'd be like, yo, you were fucking Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> yeah. It's like you told me you were at work. Now you're on the news with Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Like what were you I, doing? Like, if I saw your girlfriend on TV with Shaq, I'd be like, oh, shit, dude. Yeah, and, exactly. And if you were like, what? I'd be like, Shaquille O'Neal. The, the, the proposal does throw uh, a wing ding in there. I hope it didn't ruin it. Because it was like such a kind gesture by Shaq. Yeah. I mean, I would I would uh, gladly have Shaquille O'Neal pay for the engagement ring I have to buy if it spoiled this prize. Okay, so, so let me ask you this. Say you were shopping for a ring. Yeah. And a random guy you didn't know offered to pay for it. Would you let him? Uh, Not Shaquille O'Neal. A random guy? Yeah. So I'm saying, like, is that, like, a little awkward that Shaquille O'Neal is, like, I'll pay for it? Because money gets, like, very, like, people don't like talking about it and it makes people uncomfortable. Like, yeah. obviously, this guy could have used the money because he was trying to finance the ring. But say you were in that situation of the guy and, like, you were, I mean, I'm sure he was, like, busting his ass and doing everything he could to, like, buy this ring and make his, like, future wife happy. Would you be like, no, I worked hard for this. Like, I want to pay for it myself. Or would you let this random guy, not even a celebrity, fork over however much, a ton of money to help you out? If they were offering and they were extremely rich, I would gladly put my pride aside and let someone save me that amount of money. You would? Yeah, because first of all, I'm pretty anti-engagement ring to begin with. Yeah, I mean, so am I. I think it's pretty ridiculous. Like, all right, you in this women are going to start your life, your lives together. When you're doing that, you need to buy a house. You know, so much stuff. A lot of times people are planning on having kids. Wedding. Alone. Why the fuck are we spending a lot of money on a piece of jewelry? Because we're told to. It's the ridiculous. Diamonds are forever, Steven. I'm going to go to Jared just so she fucking returns it. <laughs> Legit. I think it's ridiculous. They got a huge insurance policy. Make sure that chick gets lost on the honeymoon. Like, it's I, crazy. It's crazy. But you know what, though? At this point, I almost can't blame a girl for wanting one because it's like, if you don't get one, it's like, oh, what, why, why didn't, oh, what, oh, why couldn't he get you a ring? It's like, you don't, I don't know. People are fucking self I mean, yeah, I wonder if that's just where we live. That's true. Like, if you lived somewhere else, would it be as bad? I don't know. Maybe I'll move there. Tell me where. Tell me. Google, I'm going to Google where, where do I not have to Kansas buy a Kansas with the lakes. I'm going <laughs> to get a pontoon boat. Babe, will you marry me? What's this? Oh, it's a piece of. It's, it's a, a it's key a, to our new <laughs> pontoon boat. <laughs> it, it It is crazy. I, and I'm not dissing anyone who bought an engagement ring. I know I'm going to have to do it. I'm getting it sucked uh, yeah, into that. Does. It's, it's going to happen. And But I'm here on the record thinking I, I think it's very dumb. And uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... When you make a bad decision. Regretful? Mm, nah, but you guys get the picture. I think it's, it's a waste irresponsible. Because everybody's like, oh, well, you're buying a diamond. It uh, retains its value. 
Have you ever seen someone sell their engagement ring because they needed cash? Yeah. Hell no. That's probably the last thing that goes. They get 600 bucks on a, and that's a really nice one. Pawn, pawn shop, pawn it off. Like it's exactly that money is spent. It's It's, gone forever. It's like, you know what? Maybe if you're in that position where you're selling your ring, definitely shouldn't have bought it in the first place. A hundred percent. Cause that's whatever amount of money it is that could have gone into a, you know, throw it into an IRA. It makes me fucking sick. Thinking about how much rings cost. I better be so rich when I buy one that it's like, it doesn't matter that I spend I'd that much I'd rather money. be poor because then I don't have to spend as much. And then and then get rich. And then you can buy one that's appropriate because you're two adults making the decision. I'm not buying a fucking second. Sorry to whoever you are that I end up getting married to. You are not getting a ring. Sorry. It's it's too much. It's too much money. For same, something. With, same with big weddings, but that's a totally no. different. Hey, I'm subject. on your side there. My, uh, hey, what if you? What if we just do something small? That's gonna be my move. What percentage of our listeners are female? Uh, I think it was thirty six percent. Okay, so thirty six percent of the people are gonna be mad. I I would have a hard time believing any of the guys are gonna be like, I love spending a lot of money on an engagement ring, but I, maybe I've heard someone say, and this is a this is a quote that uh, it's a it's a it's a reflection of your wallet and your love for that person. My wallet? What does that mean? I don't know. It's like, okay, so you're insecure about money. Like, I don't get, you know, I tell my girlfriend I make $3,000 a year. Oh, so I, I, t- I on my Hinge care. profile, it says I'm poor. I need you to pay for dinner. <laughs> Even though I'm not. I just want them to know they're not getting a ring. I don't know. I Hopefully you just find someone who doesn't care. But even if they say they don't, then I'll want, I'll, then you'll be like, you know, she's such a great girl. You know, I got to just buy her a ring. And people are going to talk shit about you, but I guess I could get over that. Would, okay, I had this thought. In the future, I could see it being the cool thing to do to not get rings. Like, uh, who's a famous young girl right now and guy dating? Ariana Grande. All right, if Ariana Grande was like, we're not doing a ring. Ariana Grande, please do that. Please just be like, you we're think not she doing would? A ring. Didn't she get like a massive one before? Probably. She got a few, I think. We need a famous young influencer girl to make it not cool to get engagement rings. We need it. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Uh, you know what? I don't even know if that would be able to to change things. Yeah, it would definitely change it for one wedding season. And then if she ended up getting one, those same girls would be like, oh, who is it? <laughs> Where's my fucking ring? I saw this um, TV show where is reality TV selling Sunset and the guy proposed on the show and the girl said it was a fake because he couldn't afford a real one, but he wants to save up and buy one. I was like, why didn't he just spend however much money he spent on the fake one on a real ring? What's wrong with the and fake leave ones? it at that? Well, I think a fake one, the, the thing wrong with it is it's like you're trying to act like pretend it's something it's not. It's like, why don't you just own up and be like, this is all I could afford. Own up to it for sure. But I don't see the problem with the fake ones that are like, you know, the, the really nice fake ones. I don't see the problem with them. These diamonds that like the, the fake ones are like made in laboratories and are like the same components as the real diamonds. Yeah. But they just have, weren't fetched for them like that. But so, they don't look the same. They don't? No. Well, that that's a problem. Because because you could argue that like, okay, it's, it's not the real thing day. that you're spending money on. But diamonds aren't worth what we're spending on them either. No, no. It's, it's not it's, even close. It's artificially inflated. I hate that. And now they're and they're all in a vault, so they, they're keeping the population of the diamonds. Uh, and everybody knows that, but the price stays where it is because we have to. I was thinking this last night: all the things that we have to do in society to, you know, to I guess achieve the American dream or like get on that path are extremely fucking expensive. School, yes. Having children, well, I mean, I guess that goes with everything. Yeah. Um, diamond rings. Fucking weddings, even though I don't think weddings should be. You guys know it. You guys know I'm on that side. <laughs> Every all like the things you like are told you have to do are very expensive. Yeah, I feel like the age between like late twenties into your thirties, it's like probably getting engaged, maybe buying a house. Yeah. Maybe having kids. Yeah. Seen a lot of that in quarantine. It just your money just goes out the door. But it's in the house kind of. All right, I'll hit, I'll hit you with a hypothetical because I feel like we should always, I, I like to include hypothetical in. They're good. Let's let's hear it. All right, you got 10 million bucks, but every year Randy Johnson in his prime 
finds you and throws a baseball at you. One million percent will do it. Yeah? Yes. You never know it's coming. He's never aiming for your head, but that's but uh, that's all I'm saying. Take a 100-mile-an-hour fastball to the chest, to the nuts, head, for 10 mil a year? No, no, no. $10 million once. Oh, but I get pegged every year? <laughs> once. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So Randy Johnson is hunting me down every year? <laughs> yeah. And you never know when it's coming. And I get $10 million once. So say I get 10 mil. Yeah. No. Nope. What do you mean no? You're not going to be able to block him from throwing you. No, no, no. But I'm saying like, if so you get the 10 mil right away. Year one, he pegs me. And he does it for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably do it. 10 mil? That's going to... Well, what happens when he dies? No, no, it's him in his prime. It's oh, like so he just said like ghost. It, it's of like Randy it's Johnson. like the the Tupac. Um, was what was it called? Uh, Hologram. Except it's like a real human being just in his prime. Like the, you know when he threw the ball at the bird and it exploded. Yeah, it's that Randy Johnson. It makes it's so sad because I know right now I'd be fine, but I do not want to take a fastball from Randy Johnson when I'm in my seventies or eighties or fifties or sixties. Yeah, anything over like you got to get thirty five. And also mentally, it's like you like you could just randomly be like, "Oh fuck!" He, and if he doesn't, when you're sleeping, you're almost lucky <laughs> because then you don't see it coming. I'm just imagining like it's New Year's Eve, and he still hasn't pegged you. <laughs> so I just suit up with my catcher's equipment and like sit in the corner. Just like Randy, I know you're coming for me. Set the clocks back. Whoa. That would be Oh my gosh. That that would be fun though. I wouldn't do it. Not because of the pain of actually getting hit, but because the me, the like mentally thinking. I think it's almost you'd almost have like uh PTSD. Apparently the soldiers yeah. who uh people would don't really you. face as much combat, like Navy SEALs don't get PTSD as much because they're the ones going in. They know what they're doing. The other ones at times are waiting. Like in there, you know, a little anxious. So apparently That's they're the ones who get PTSD. What do you think? What law do you think you have the, like, you could possibly break that would put you in jail? Um, None. None? There's got to be one that's you know like what? the Ma- most likely. All right. Maybe in a horrible way, like I was in the, I'd be in the car, not fucking focused. Like say something crazy was going on in my life. And maybe like... I, I hit someone, but I'm not drunk. You know, I wasn't drinking. Yeah, but maybe you go to it was, jail for that though. If they, that's true. If I'm just staying in my lane, like, what if like, I don't like, I, I see a deer and I'm like, oh fuck, I swerve so and I, then I kill someone accidentally. Yeah, maybe. I'm I'm trying to think of like what, what kind of situation could you get like caught on the wrong side of that would potentially put you in jail. Like uh. Like kind of like guilty by association thing. Like you didn't necessarily do anything wrong, but like something happened and now you're fucked. Uh, imagine like someone you really cared for killed someone and they came to you and you're like, oh, I need, I need help digging a body. Would you help them? Fuck no. Me neither. No matter who it was. You're thinking into this deep. I was thinking like, hey, maybe we have like um, someone who like cleans our apartment once a week they get caught up in something and then they're like, oh, well, they were at your apartment like every Wednesday. That's when they were like doing the crime. You're somehow involved. You're going to jail unless you can like prove otherwise. And like there's like there's a there's a couple factors that just really mesh in and the police are like, you're our target. We're going to make you. Yeah. Like, it's like we need to put someone we, behind bars. We know bars. this guy did it. Yeah. yeah. He's up for re-election this month. He needs to put this guy behind bars. Yeah. Like that does happen. There's like that guy who... He got off because he was on the Seinfeld show. Oh, yeah. that's Remember we watched that documentary? Yeah. So the, this guy was, I think yeah. it was for murder, right? Yeah, of a 16-year-old girl. They were thinking about giving him the death penalty. So this guy was convicted of murder, killing a 16-year-old, possible death penalty. And he basically, they can like kind of convicted him. He was on trial. He wasn't convicted yet. Yeah. They didn't but, let him bail out. So he was yeah, in prison. He was sitting in prison. He didn't have money for bail or they didn't allow him. I can't even remember specifics. But the only way he got off was Jerry Seinfeld was filming 
at no Larry David oh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm was filming at um a baseball game, yeah, like a live game, and he was sitting in the seat like right next to where they were filming by chance, and that put him in a totally separate area at like the same time the murder occurred, and he was let go. He was not. He was in a different seat, and then people. I think people left. So then he went up to go closer, and there's just this shot of him as he's passing the like tunnel, standing up and everything. Yeah. Because when he was, and it was like between takes too, so they had like the camera panned out or something. It wasn't insane. in the episode. It wasn't yeah. in the episode. It was they had to contact Larry David to get all the footage from that episode. That's wild. And like they were, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Because the guy when he's meeting with his lawyers was like. I think I remember like there were there was people filming a show there. So the guy like his great lawyer, unbelievable lawyer, did everything he could, and it for, and that didn't necessarily get him off, but it 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 uh, took away a lot of the narratives of uh, the uh, prosecution, and he did get off. That was a great yeah. story. There's so many people in jail for crimes they didn't commit. That's the my biggest nightmare. You heard uh, the guy in Rogan who he was in jail for like almost 30 years and then he wanted to be like put to death because he couldn't take it anymore yeah so he like signed he wrote a letter to i don't know his the governor or something or whoever was in charge of like putting people to death and he was like can you please execute me like next week yeah why and, why am i waiting yeah and the guy was like whoa he's like i've never had someone write something like this we need to look into this case they look into the case find more evidence the guy gets out after DNA 25 evidence. years, yeah. His was like a crazy circumstance type thing. Yeah, it was like they dropped the DNA and then the tests weren't yeah. good. And so he was like doing something wrong, but he didn't do that. Yeah. It's like he did something bad, but he didn't do the murder. That is so crazy. That's nuts. And he spent his whole life, his basically his whole adult life in Dude, jail. You can't pay. There's no amount of money that can pay that back. No amount of money. Who knows? That guy, that guy could have done anything with his life. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is a sin. That's why I hope for... Uh, I hope I believe, I believe uh, reincarnation happens because I would like to think that someone like that whose life got fucked up like that could come back in their next life and be rewarded for that or repaid and live a great life. Not that that's, you know, perfect reward or, or makes it fair, but... You, I, I guess I'm just trying to look at the bright side. Or yeah. You gotta, I like to think that what you do in this life would uh, determine how good your next life is. I kind of believe in that. It's a good thing to believe just so you, even if just so you be good here, it better yeah. be the rule. I hope like these like golden rules we learned as kids uh, are like true golden rules and actually, you know, more than just like feeling good for being a good person here. Like, you do get a reward. So I guess that makes me selfish, but I'm a good person. <laughs> I am a good person. You're a good person. I like to think so. It's a good good people podcast. Should we wrap it up? Let's wrap. I think we got some good... This was a different podcast, I feel. It was a little different. It was a little different. Not, I think, I think not in a bad well. way or a good way. What's, nice what's way. our closing song? I, ha I have a few that... Uh, I haven't quite picked. I can't believe I fucked up the intro song like that. That was. So you know what? That's what makes us the Steve Driscoll show. Steve fucks shit up. Uh, you know what? I'm glad you guys came. Thank you all for listening. The sun goes down. The <laughs> and on a very dark note. <laughs> this is dark? Right oh, now. This you is think dark. this is dark? My unit. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hey. Woo. Thanks for coming, guys. Happy birthday. What was that song